I wasn't planning on making a video today, but the most insane sale has just come through and we've got to talk about it. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner and today we have got five orders to pack and post. But technically, one of those orders is more than one item. It is the largest sale in terms of quantity I've ever made and I just could not believe that it happened. Let's run through all of the other orders first and then we'll talk about that one and we'll work on getting it all out. So first things first, we sold some anime DVDs. I moved them from this crate that I had them in to up on that shelf and after selling these, I've realized we've only got two individual DVDs left from that entire bundle of books and DVDs. So that is amazing. I can't believe I've actually sold through nearly all of it. And the last two, I'm pretty sure are pretty decent as well. So when they do sell, there'll be some good money in them. This was a miscellaneous set of Nagima, uh, like a summer special, a random episode 15 to 18, and then a larger complete series two. They went on offer for £10 plus postage. I think I had them listed for 15, but I've made, you know, 300, 400 pounds from it all. So, you know, I'm just willing to sell them at a good deal. Next, we sold some clothing. You know I'm terrible at clothing. I don't get a chance to go to the charity shops because they're shut when I finish work. So in like the half terms and the summer holiday, very occasionally I can visit one. I picked up some Levi's, never pay more than eight pound normally for them, which is still a lot of money. And if you're doing it full time, it's not worth your time, but they do sell pretty quick. These went on offer today for 22 pound 50, which normally I aim to get 25. I think I had them up for £26.50 and he sent me an offer at 20 We settled on £22.50. I just thought, you know, I was holding out for 24 and I just thought I'd much rather get a sale than, you know, earn an extra £2 or lose, lose the sale entirely. These are a pair of 514s Levi Premiums, £25.99 all in. So if you can, if you can get them for a fiver or less at the car boot, you might see them quite often. I do at mine, but I'm pretty sure they're all knackered. They have like 300 pairs. I might one day, if they you know, if they bring them all, I might actually have a look through them. Because if there are some decent pairs, I can get them for a fiver. It's an easy 20 to 25 pound. You won't remember this because it'll be in my car boot video, but I bought some vintage die cast Warhammer. It's been listed for less than a day. It's not sold yet, but I've had a lot of offers coming in on this. So with any luck, this will be in a sold video fairly soon. But something I did buy at the car boot that you won't have seen yet has sold within one day of being listed, which I'm very surprised by, especially for what it is. Um, let me just dig it out. Here we go. It's actually a handset. Now, I probably refund most of these because they never work, but this one has never been used and it's a modern one. I've just thrown the paperwork everywhere, but it is a BT phone that's got Alexa built in. It's still got the screen cover on it. I didn't even know this was a thing. I don't know what it does. I guess it can call for you, but it has got Amazon Alexa Assistant built into the phone itself. Listed for 25 plus postage. An offer came in for 23. I obviously snapped that up and it sold within 24 hours. If you want to look out for them, it is called a, well, it's a BT phone, but it's an advanced digital home phone. And it does actually say on the front of the box, Alexa's built in. I paid three and it sold for 23 plus postage in less than 24 hours. So that again, not great money, but you can't say no to making that in, in a day. It took two seconds to actually list and photograph because I knew it was new. So yeah, happy with that. This is probably going to be a pretty quick video, but that is actually it for other items we've got one sale left and would you believe it as always it is star wars toys now what happened was i had an offer come in for 18 pounds plus postage the item was listed for 20 it was a bundle of 90s star wars figures and within the message on the offer it said would you be able to combine postage i'm interested in buying more than just this one set i said yep of course i'm more than happy to do that I want to get these figures shifted. They ended up sending offers on seven items in total and every offer was only £2 off what I'd listed it for, 
which has never happened before. The only offers I normally get are super low ball. But yeah, £2 off of every bundle they selected. I combined the postage. I probably didn't actually charge them enough postage, but it's not the end of the world. They bought seven bundles of Star Wars figures, all lower end stuff that I did not think I'd be able to sell. And I'd be dropping the price and dropping the price until I practically give it away. They bought all of it for me. Seven bundles of the like 90s, early 2000s for I think in total £115. So all the items, all the bundles they were they were offering on were like listed for 20, listed for 24, listed for 14.95, listed for 12.95, things like that. But yeah, £115 for figures that I never thought I'd be able to sell. So I am more than happy with that. I think they're all from different years, so we are going to have to do some serious digging, get them out on the table and then I will actually show you everything that they picked up. Oh dear, right, let's begin. The main, the one benefit of this massive order is that I can literally just throw them all in one box and just assign tracking to that. So it's gonna be really easy to ship. I don't have to use loads of large letters or anything. Uh, first things first, the thing that they pay for before, so they're actually two separate orders because they bought one outright and then made offers on the rest. I can, you can apply tracking, the same tracking, to both. So I'm going to do that and send it as one. Uh, 1995 is what we're looking for first, which is this bag right here. And the first thing they bought was 12 figures. They've actually bought the Hoth bundle as well from 1997. Have I got the wrong year? Maybe not. Oh, no, I've got the right year. So yeah, I'll get these out on the table and then we'll move on to the next one. 12 figures from 1995. We've now got three different lots from 1997, which again is somewhere on this shelf. Here we go. It might even be all of these. I have a feeling I managed to make, so this is all of my 97 figures. There's probably 20 odd. I went through them. There's basically no value in individual figures. Even if you have all the accessories, you might be getting five pound maximum per figure so i had some hoth related figures there was a snow uh, trooper luke in his hoth outfit and then two rebel troopers i made a bundle of them and then i just made two like seven or eight figure miscellaneous bundles of han solos and captain priet and sand troopers and a dengar bounty hunter who is pretty cool but again no real value and i'm pretty sure they bought this entire bag and this was only listed that morning I think yesterday morning or to this morning or something like that so yeah super quick and this kind of stuff is not for valuable figures and I really didn't think I'd be able to shift these amazing I'm pretty sure everything they've bought is 90s so they're obviously a 90s Star Wars figure fan I am not going to complain we've got one large bundle from 1996 and I've just seen that bag it is here and it's a bundle of 12 figures I'm not 100% sure that all of these are in that bundle, but I think they are, because there's not a whole lot of figures here. So let's get them out of count, I guess. It's a times 12 bundle. Again, just miscellaneous Star Wars figures. So we've got Luke in his Stormtrooper outfit without the helmet. We've got TIE Fighter pilots. We've got other Luke Skywalkers just in Jedi gear. We've got like the, uh, I can't remember which guy this is. It is a Stormtrooper, but it's a particular one. But again, no weapon or anything. And some Boba Fett's. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in here. Maybe it's an eleven bundle. Let's count them. Oh yeah, it is. It's not twelve. It is eleven. So that is all of the nineteen ninety six. Let's add them to the table. It is filling up pretty quick. So that is nineteen ninety six, nineteen ninety seven, nineteen ninety five. So the last thing we've got is nineteen ninety nine which again, I need to find the bag for. It might be this one. No, nope, that is year 2000. So it's down here somewhere. Um, there we go. 1999. Now, annoyingly, they have not bought everything out of this bag. So I am actually gonna have to get the pictures up and see what we've sold. I'll tell you what, the easiest thing I can probably do is tip these out on the floor and try and match these pictures. There's that many Darth Mauls in here. I don't know how I'm going to find the right one, but I'll show you it when it's on the table. 
the first lot was a four figure bundle. It has Greedo, a battle droid, a particular one with some yellow on him, this little droid guy, and a really cool Darth Maul. Again, everything here is no accessories, just the figures. It took me long enough, but we finally got there. Let's go take a look at what they've bought. Here we are. Now for £115, it actually does look like quite a lot of figures. And if they're making a diorama or they just want to fill up some shelves, they're definitely going to be able to do it with these. So I've not kept them in, well, they're kind of roughly in the years they are, but I could not tell you who's who now. But yeah, we have got an absolute ton of figures. But like I said, these were the lots that I thought would never sell. And the fact that some of these are sold within a day of listing is just amazing. I mean, we've already emptied three bags of different years. So we are making huge progress in clearing out these Star Wars figures and actually making our money. But yeah, could not believe this sale when it came in. The fact that they sent offers on seven different lots and then paid for them all within like an hour of doing so is just absolutely unbelievable it was the kind of thing where i wasn't going to record today but i could not miss showing you guys this sale and that is everything we've got going out the door today for a grand total of 181 pounds really really good i mean it's obviously all the money's in the star wars stuff but i don't care <laughs> we're still making money on the other items and we're making a lot of money on that because there is no investment in it anymore whatsoever within the first couple of days i'd made my money back so it is all just profit now. If you guys have sold anything cool recently, please let me know in the comments. It's always fun to talk to you guys about the cool things you're selling on your eBay store. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.